Katie here, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> oh, first thing first, my last video, I forgot to include, very important, these stickers my friend gave me, look at, look at how cute. It's a rock holding a fly that says, you rock. It's a little dinosaur on a bicycle. Like, this is why she's my best friend. And then, of course, the classic, totes my goat. <laughs> Bruh. I mean, was, that was supposed to sound like a goat, and it definitely didn't. Hey, I hope that you're having a lovely day where you're at. at. Today, today I've, I'm snacking on winter knock cookies, cinnamon star cookies. They're delicious. They're kind of orangey flavored, but they don't have oranges in them, I think. I don't know. My stepdad gave me some. Look, they're just adorable. The lighting's not really picking up on them, but I promise you they are absolutely delicious. Hmm. There's no way they don't have some sort of citrus. Mmm. Candied fruit peel. It's like the fourth ingredient. Delicious. Okay. Anyways. Uh, right now I'm unboxing my Hamilton Beach 8 cup chopper slash food processor. It's definitely just a food processor, but I think it's also a chopper. I don't know. Uh, I need to take it out and clean it so that tomorrow I can play around with it. But, I don't know how to get it out. I think I can just pull it out this way. Voila! Perfect. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Hey, what is this? I've never had a food process before. But, yeah. Okay, let's see. So this has to be like a thing you push stuff down with. This is going to be a bread bread kneader. It's the plastic blades. Oh my gosh, it's really heavy. Like, I don't even know where I'm going to put this. Is there anything in this? Nope. Um, drum roll, please. Has suction cups. My task right now, though, is to completely disassemble this and hope that I know how to put it back together later because I don't know what I want my first recipe to be, but it's, it's, does this come off? I don't know what my first recipe is going to be. But I'm thinking bread, hummus, salsa, I don't know. What do you make in food processors? Let's see, we have one of the blades right here. This is for the smaller bowl. I think it said it had, yeah, two blades for the larger and the smaller bowl. Uh, dual bowl versatility. Oh, it's a 14 cup bowl. That's 14 cups. I thought it was eight. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to be able to feed an army with this thing. And I trust me, that's how I cook. I feed armies. Plastic. Plastic. Why do we use so much plastic? <sighs> I love that. Okay. Anyways, let's see. Yep. Yep. Cool. Okay. I'm excited. Can you tell? Anyways, I have a lot to do today. <laughs> this was not necessarily on the list, but I want to play with some watercolors. I've done the second thing. I'm going to play in my planner. I would love to go to Bath and Body Works. Right now is their semi-annual sale. 
So that means everything's like between 50 and 75% off. And when I say everything, I, I mean like 99% of their store. I want to get, not want to get, I need to get a mini hand sanitizer. That's the main reason I'm going. So that's the plan for Bath & Body Works. The last thing is, and uh, here's a cut. This lovely pile of clothes sitting on top of my, this, back massager which would be so lovely right now. Anyways, these are all clean clothes that either fit me, don't fit me, I'm giving to people, I need to sort through them to see what needs to be donated, and all of that jazz. Those need to be hung up. Well, they're all really going to go there because they're clean, but yeah. So that's a thing that needs to get done today. This bag and this tote right here, they need to go get donated, but unfortunately, the donation place is not open. Not yet. Look at the dog. He's just my pup dog. You're just my pup dog. What you doing? What you doing? You, you got eye burgers on your face. Just, oh my gosh, I can't with him. He's just the most adorable. Hours. Like I said, it's been hours, and what have I got done? Literally almost nothing. I got some things done. Okay, so I did end up going to Bath and Body Works, and I got more than I came for. I came for this. This was the scent I ended up getting. I got two of them, actually. I got the Japanese Cherry Blossom, and I also got the Juicy Apple, I think it's called, which is the one that's on my keychain right now. I try and do it a seasonal thing, you know. I also got Autumn Foliage, because I realized I didn't have any more Autumn scents, and I didn't smell it. But it's fresh fallen leaves, misty air, and autumn cedarwood. I do remember kind of smelling it at one point in my life, I think. But it's got fresh fallen leaves. Like, yeah, yeah, that's fresh. It's misty. And it's woodsy. I like it. Uh, the next thing I got, which I freaked out when I saw it, it's a honeysuckle candle. Well, it's backyard honeysuckle. It truly is blissful. I love honeysuckle so much. It's in my top five, if not number one. It's number one. This is my favorite scent ever. They had a scent called Butterfly Flower, and that was beautiful. Ten times better than their honeysuckle flower, and I don't know why. Maybe because it had magnolia or something in it, but... Uh, this is Sweet Honeysuckle, Orange Flower Blossom, and Neroli Nectar. Here, have a sniff. Next, I got the Golden Eclipse scent, which is Glowing Berries, Shimmering Blossom, and Sun Warmed Woods. I This is one of the things I went there for. So I went for this. I guess this is really the only thing I went for and didn't mean to get um this is their annual your their semi-annual launch oh no it's got a citrus in it glowing berries is it raspberries uh any like raspberries or lemon typically for me when it comes to bath and body works i just feel feel like it smells like pee, and that is the nicest way I can put it. Okay, anyways, so other than that, I did paint two of these, so I just put like some flowers. I'm trying to make abstract flowers, and this is July. Oh, sorry, it's June, and then I put a background on my August, that's all I got. I decided they needed to dry. The plan is to do some detail leaves, and this is just like a background. And then, uh, I did a year in pixels page, so I have a mood 
pixel chart and an art pixel chart just like I did last year and that I never kept up with so hopefully I'll keep up with this and then somehow somehow somewhere along the way pizza pizza came to mind and I don't know if I was influenced if I saw a commercial if I was just like you know it would be good right now pizza so I typed in Papa John's I was like what do they got and I immediately knew that I was going to be getting their calzone pizza so that's on the way actually I need to stop filming just in case they call me within the next five minutes because that's when it's, it's pretty much when it's being delivered Boop. okay okay so this is my order I got oh my god okay so I haven't had a lot of Papa John's like at all I, I was a pizza hut and a Domino's girly, they didn't have it in my college town. So, or did they? I don't know. Uh, but I got two cups of garlic sauce. I got some delicious pepperoncini. I'm not that Italian. Oh wow, they're kind of spicy. Maybe I'm used to banana peppers. I ordered some anchovies. Didn't know that they were going to be coming in a can. So that makes it even more time friendly for me for how I was going to use them. What I have in here, if I can get it open with my old butter knife. Mm, some more garlic sauce. I did not need to order that. Extra cheese, pepperoni, anchovy pizza with the calzone crust. I was told via the website that for some reason uh, this is a thing that they're doing now when it's new. So I decided to take a try. So first test, pepperoni. Oily. Fell on my counter right there. Some good pepperoni. I haven't had anchovies in so long. There is not enough anchovies on here. I'm gonna put that one over there. They taste fishy. So that's good. Anyways. I don't remember what they said crust was supposed to taste like. But. I just realized this whole scene has not been facing the camera at all. Mm. Superb. Maybe a little fishy. But good. I'm glad I got extra cheese. So the crust is supposed to have like ricotta cheese in it and like herbs. It doesn't... I see a speck in there, but... Mm -hmm. I don't get the ricotta cheese, but I can definitely taste the herbs. I don't know. I think they just put mozzarella in this. We called it ricotta cheese. I don't see any herbs, but it does taste good. So, that's a little scary, <laughs> if you ask me. Also, why is their crust so plain on top? I guess it is a calzone crust, but it could have some seasoning. But I guess that's why they give you one with your order. So I'm just going to give this a little stir. And the garlic sauce. Does it go well with the cheese? Calzone stuffing though? A lot of garlic sauce. Mmm. 
That's pretty good. You know what I wish I had them? Got a seasoning packet and put it in here. I almost got one, but I ended up not because I thought it was a Parmesan pack, but it said seasoning pack. I was like, what? I didn't get any Parmesan either. It's 19 cents. Like, why? Why? Right. Anyways, this was good. I'm glad because it took me 30 minutes to 45 minutes. No joke. To decide to buy this when I could have taken the money that I bought all of this and coasted for a week and a half on groceries. I'm glad I tried it though. Anyways, I hope that you have a lovely day wherever you're at. I've gotta go.